Glorious. Thank you very much, Jester DFW, for the sub. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Thank you very much. And uh, here we are. Oh, God. Um, 20 TV up. Thanks to that reserve. So if I hadn't had the reserve... Oh, oh my God. This was bad timing by Sinai doing the dishwasher here. I can't hear anything at the start of the video, but never mind. Um, he's got a minor and some guard. Three guard. Um... 3-1-2, not the best record. He conceded last game, so that's good to know, isn't it? He didn't concede that game. Um, he's got some concession. No, he hasn't. Right, anyway, whatever. So, yeah, I would have been down TV here, and I would have got, like, a, a babe. So I'd much rather have a reserve than a babe. So that, that works out well. Uh, three guard, he's got a string three team. The, I guess the minor with mighty blow is a bit of a danger. All right. Can't scum a wizard though. If I if I was down, if I hadn't bought that guy, I could have scummed a wizard, which probably wouldn't have been a good idea. Um. Right, let's go. He might scum a wizard, yeah. So actually. That, that that reserve might have been the difference between him getting a wizard or me getting a wizard. He hasn't scummed anything. But, you know, so that's the thing, you know, that it's never that easy. It's a hard decision to make getting the reserve or not. It's worked out well for this game. But it could have easily been, it could have easily cost me this game, couldn't it? If he had, uh, if it had made them, you know, you, but you can't, obviously you can't. You can't live with what ifs and everything, but... There are what ifs, aren't there? <laughs> you know, it's like the, there's a lot goes into deciding when to go to 12 men or not. Because you just don't know how it's going to pan out. Um, fresh Goblin Team 360 TV down against Woodies. That is brutal, Marida. Brutal. Um, thank you very much, anyway. Just DFW. Exactly, machine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I get beaten up plenty with with chaos. Yeah, because they're just their armory defenses armory for the most part, aren't they? So it's not even unlikely that you get beaten up. Um, it's literally not even unlikely that you get beaten up as chaos. So um, I don't even know whether they play this agile guy on defense or not. Like, I do like having a reserve, obviously, it's better to have a reserve than not have a reserve. But it's just, you know, it's the matching. You don't know what, you don't know what effect it's going to have on the matching, do you? And you can't retroactively look at it and say, oh, well, I would have got this guy or whatever, you know, and I would have got this inducement. You can't look at it that way, really. But it does, it does have that effect. I don't play the edge four on defense. This is only three players to protect, which isn't that much. Oh yeah, this guy is on three. Very good, LOSSPPs. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, having the edge four available might be might be good, might not. Let's go with this. Yeah, exactly, Tally. It's 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 not easy decision whether to play him or not. Like having him on the bench would guarantee having him on my offensive drive, wouldn't it? I think maybe I should have done. Because the way that I lose this game is by getting unlucky with removals. So maybe I shouldn't have played him on defense. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Wolfpack. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it is entirely arbitrary, isn't it? Um, so like, 
you know, you need the extra stuff. It's, you know, you can't say any hard and fast rules. Like people who say cycling skinks after one skill without a thing. It, it all depends. It's all, it all depends on the, everything else. I just left a fucking shithead beast in reserve, flamethrower. But yeah, maybe I should have left the uh, Ash Fall there to make sure I had him. I often do that with like, you know, undead or whatever. I'll leave the, uh, I'll leave the, sure hands ghoul in reserve. No, it wasn't zero. No, it's the four point one. Is I was clever thanks to getting the heads up. Um, I could try. It. I just don't have the guard. Do he? he's got two guards, so I can't really try strength him out. If we were equal TV, <laughs> now we are. <He's laughs> In fact, I've got the thing. I've got the TV advantage. God, touchback here for him is pretty good for him, but not a touchback could be horrible for him. I want to stay the fuck away from this minor. No. I get blocks back here. If he follows. I don't hate that. One, two, three, four, five, GFI. He wants to go GFI. One, two, three, four, five, GFI. And go like that. Mm, don't know. Fuck it. Why is the case mine all crap again? Um well What's the benefit of him shifting more on the side? Because he hasn't got the additional blocks, has he? Um, as easily as if they're in the middle. Um, and then, yeah, perfect defence. Yeah, I got a perfect defence. Um, the minor... Minors, here's the thing. The Chaos Minor is worse, it's strictly worse than a... The, the Chorf Minor is strictly worse than a Chaos Minor because the Chorf Minor needs doubles to get Claw and Tentacles. However, Chorfs get more of a Minor than Chaos do because Chaos get... Um, wow, he's just... I chained him so he can he can he can blitz that. Oh, that wasn't that wasn't clever of me, was it? Allowing that chain. Anyway, um, so yeah, the win rate suggests this isn't his first account. Yeah, that's true. Don't know who that is though. I don't know who him ruins is. Um. This is the this is the guy I'm playing. Thirty seven percent. Two concessions this season. Okay. Um so he's probably new at Blood Bowl. So yeah, the thing is, um he didn't even need a rate tackle, does he? Because he got the chain out. I shouldn't have let him chain out, that was very poor that I let him chain out there. Very poor to let him chain out. Anyway. What was I trying to so talk about? Yeah. So the thing is the mine was much better for chorfs. Much more useful for chores because it gives you more strength, which you wouldn't normally have, and it gives you a uh, you know another chance to get claw, which is good. And he's going to get mighty blow himself here, which is good, isn't it? <laughs> 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 
Persona fam. Alright. And the ball wasn't a touchback, it was actually a perfect kick. Alright. Um I could blitz through and try to put some pressure on the ball now, couldn't I? Right, you blow a blitz, yes please. Oh baby. I'm not gonna put any pressure on the ball now. Fuck, I need to do power there. Even assisting here doesn't do much. I guess I should have put him in there and then assisted with that guy. Don't hate basing the hobs there. He has conceded Brown Meister this guy. Somebody just looked a different name up in the chat. Disgusting it on the cards. You pick Coronich off mine, of course I would. Of course I would play Coronich. Of course I would take Coronich off mine off. Cloran Juggernaut, of course. Blitz with him every turn because he's got strength 5 with Claw. Or strength 6 when he, with Claw. Whereas with, with Chaos. You would rather blitz with a beastman, wouldn't you? It's easy to get a beastman, it's a way better blitzing option than a minor. Yeah, he's been pretty unlucky, hasn't he, to be fair? His first block with a minor was a both down, a le uh, both down loner fail, and then. <laughs> <laughs> and then his second block was a double. Well, not his first block. His first, uh, his first blitz. And then the next turn, he's out of rerolls on turn two. Yeah, zero rerolls already, and now oh, he's got sure hands, but still. Even with short hands, God, he's one in four for it for to fail, and then five out of it. I, I exposed him, didn't I? That was maybe he's a bit bad, letting him blitz the agility guy. Sure, but it's still unlucky though, isn't it, Wolfpack? I like to be I like to be fair about I don't like to just, you know, complain about bad you know, I don't want to be one of those people who complains about every you know, expect a Kaz on every block and don't give credit where credit's due for when I get good luck and stuff, you know. Yeah, if it's crazy, isn't it? The Warriors are very, very nicely skilled up. Got some lucky MVPs. And, uh, 
and scored on them. Yeah, of course. Of course, Wolfbard. But still, there's, there's still the other look counts, doesn't it? He was still unlucky to roll a 1 in 9 and into a loner fail. And he was still unlucky to roll it both down on that block. He, he was, it was still unlucky. Now, yeah, it was... You know, there's different shades of bad luck and everything. But still, you can't just deny that he was, you know... You can't deny that he was unlucky, can you? What I'd like to do is I'd like to blitz this fucker, but also blitz him. And it's hard to do. I can't... I don't know if I can just block him. One, two... Let's do this block first. One, two, three, four, five, six. I just can't get the men round. I could get the men round and then two dice him. I think blitzing him's all right. Then the question is whether to do it with a uh, block or. Uh... He's gonna bez down. Um, the question is whether to do it with block or mighty blow, isn't it? To push into him for an extra hit on him. So I think with that in mind. It's probably best to go for the uh, mighty blow. Now he can punch him. And he could punch one of these, probably him. He can go there to protect him. He could go here. And he can stay where he is. Right. Tuck, tuck. Yeah, yeah, sure, Wolfbark, sure. <laughs> sure, of course, of course, Wolfbark, I agree completely, but, you know, I'm trying to be positive and not a whiny little cunt, so, give him his due when he rolls bad dice, it's okay to say he's rolled bad dice, isn't he? Bad, the, the dice were bad, even if he could have mitigated the risk, for sure. <laughs> That's great, I'm Emperor. Part of team positive. <laughs> then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better, eh? Uh, four girls undead. Yeah, blood step on two. One is a sack and one is a carrier, yeah. Yeah, absolutely what Ducky says, yeah. Even agility. It is a dream start of sorts, yeah. I should be 5-0. and oh. That's the only bad thing is that I'm not 5-0. and oh, And I really should have been. Um, but I... Uh, there was a combination of bad play and bad luck that was too much to overcome in one of the games. Yeah, you definitely don't want two girls with dodge sure hands. You re you only need one with sure hands. But like once you've got him, there's no need to sack him. Oh, that was annoying. That saved his bow from getting served. Or maybe it didn't. Maybe it made it more likely. <laughs> maybe it just made it more likely. <laughs> 
That should have been the play to stop his ball, his ball getting served. Now it looks like he's just managed to make it more likely. So that's that's fun, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, ghouls die pretty easily, so I wouldn't say it's worth kicking. Now that you've got them, I wouldn't say it's worth kicking them. Um, but ideally, wouldn't have gone down like that. Oh man, surf ball. Literally, isn't it? Just a two dice for a push. Edge four goes in here, two dice for a push, and then blitz him with him. That's too easy. Too easy, lads, boys, lads. Nah, yeah, exactly. Block makes him good enough. Like, block show sure hands is absolutely all you need. You know, uh, blocks your hands, so going block first is absolutely fine. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't have gone to your hands twice. This block's good enough. And then if you've got a block guy, you're right here, like Bosch. Right, here we are, easiest, easiest surf of my life. Because I don't hit with him yet in case he wants to blitz if this is a power. <laughs> Alright, got the push. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Jeff. Oh, I made the surf. Oh, outrageous. Outrageous dice. Outrageous dice. Rolled a push. Who would have believed such good fortune was possible? he's not dead I wouldn't actually get lucky on the surf but at least he's off the pitch isn't he do I one dice here this is the question isn't it this is the question here I think I probably don't even though it leaves him better odds of downing me if I don't do that he's got he's still got the wrestle stood up in the backfield which is a concern isn't it if I block and score both down it's pretty bad and push doesn't improve the situation, so pass the turn. Leaving men base when he's got no rerolls isn't so bad, is it? He obviously rolled a double score on the first hit, <laughs> which was unlucky, but got the push on the second, so happy days. Wrestle does knock your player down, yeah. So it's I've got him in it's good for sacking the ball and it's good so it's good it's good to have him here so he can get the ball and it's also good to have him here so that if he runs through I can get him. Um now obviously his guy doesn't have block, so block does that job just as well. Um But still, I like having him stood up here. Having him stood up here means he's gotta hit him. And then there's a chance that he fails and I just get in for the hit, so Yeah, it's not a turnover from Wrestle, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a turnover. I'll give him a 2 dB here. Fuck. But I should be able to get two dice on the ball here. Fingers crossed. Barring bad dice, I should get two dice on the ball. Variety of ways.
Ei, kyllä on vaan tänään. Really bad. Yeah, that's true, Wolfberg. That's true. That's true. But I, I find that it's okay because he mostly only plays defense. I'm mostly, you know, I don't know. Like it's, it's personal preference. I, I had two wrestle once, and I hated having two wrestle. And then I thought. One wrestle is good enough. At the end of the day, the way I look at ghouls is you have two ones with block and one with wrestle and one that actually survives for a bit and is your ball carrier. And then if that ball carrier dies, you replace him with the guy who has block. Glorious. Thank you very much, Bella Javier, for staying fantastic. Oh yeah. Thank you very, very much. Let's block him first of all for a push. Succeeds in a push. Now let's block this guy for a push. Succeeds in a push. Right. So now two dice in the ball with wrestle. If it's a put one, two, three, four, five, six. If it's a push, then I can make a GFI to get two dice with block or one two three four five now I can't do anything around that way I could still stand up later because I want to build block him and then move him somewhere but this one's more important isn't it push <laughs> there's a GFI fail <laughs> fucking A Oh my god, now he stands up because I don't want to feel anything. Fuck's sake. Can't re-roll the hit now. He could push him to there, he could push him to there and he can't surf him. That was a good that was a good cast though. Put him up to fourteen as well. So that was very nice. Yeah, it was potentially six dice on the ball, wasn't it? With 75% chance of knockdown. Two, three chances of a 75% knockdown should have been, but thanks to the one on the GFI. Hmm, maybe he's disconnected, eh? Maybe I've disconnected. Is the stream still live? Is anybody out there? <laughs> yes, Necropotence, yes. Yes, uh... Okay, good. <laughs> Opponent is disconnected, the time is on. Right, um... The reason for the GFI was cancelling the Mino assist, yeah, exactly. He had guard, so I couldn't cancel the Mino anti-assist. And then I didn't want to make these two two dice blocks before freeing him up. Because um, the guard's here, so I don't know if I'd have had a GFI to get around. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I might have had a GFI. That might have been worth it, actually, to have to have not GFI'd. And then I could have blocked here and blocked here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe I didn't need to make the GFI in the end. 
Yeah, actually, even better odds doing a two do dice blocks. Uh, two one in nines or a one in six. I don't know. I kind of wanted to just do it and then see where the ball went with the edge four. You know, I had to move the edge four out of the way to do all this. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, he's disconnected, so it, it's looking like a win, isn't it? Making a cards <laughs> means disconnect. A badly hurt means rage DC from a random block of badly hurt after surviving two seventy five percent blocks on the ball. Maybe it was a genuine disconnect. Maybe it was a genuine disconnect because that seems like a really weird time to dis to disconnect. If he just had the ball sacked and badly hurt, fair enough. But the fact that he survived the ball sack, um, <laughs> survived the ball sack, <laughs> means that he's unlikely to. Uh, it probably is just coincidence. I I honestly think it's just coincidence because it really is an an unexciting reason to disconnect, isn't it? Random, random badly hurt. I can't believe anybody would disconnect over that. Maybe they would though. <laughs> but, you know, normally it's a perm or, you know, if it was the minor. I'd understand if it was the minor. Fucking cunting. <laughs> cunt of a fucking shithead. Fucking cunt. <laughs> Cunt, fucking cunt, 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 fucking beast. <laughs> Thousand bison dollars well spent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were absolutely rock hard today. <laughs> and so was my cock. Yeah, maybe necropones, yeah, maybe. Maybe he knows it's coming because it is looking pretty bad for him. Although I can't show you the pitch, <laughs> it's looking pretty bad for him. He's going to take another mighty blow hit. He's going to get guys based up. There's a safety. There's an edge four ready to scoop the ball up when it gets knocked loose. Um, yeah, I guess I will spin again because um, because there's two hours. Oh no, he's back. He's back, see? I did think it was just coincidence. Because it wasn't really a reason to concede, was it? It really wasn't. I just got an apple. Or what? No, he didn't. His dice hack is activated. <laughs> Maybe. I think just base up guys. And then yeah, it's looking pretty grim for him, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think... Uh, I mean, there could be... Maybe there are cheats, but... I think somebody would have noticed. Because <laughs> if somebody was cheating, they would have cheated to win Champs Ladder, wouldn't they? And get $500. You wouldn't... 500 euros. You wouldn't be cheating to just, like... Not win Champs Ladder. So... I'm guessing it's non-existent. Because... I mean, you, you don't know, though, do you? But really, realistically, um, yeah. If anyone was cheating, they would win champs ladder, and it would be pretty obvious they were cheating, wouldn't they, when they won it? <laughs> you could be like, "This guy's crap," but he's just rolling all sixes or whatever. So, uh, I guess there's oh, there's some cheating in terms of collusion, isn't there? Obviously, and spinning fake accounts and stuff. So yeah, there is some. There is some. I guess there's probably cheating to get to this to get to the playoffs. But then once you're in the playoffs, there's no cheating. But yeah, okay, there there obviously is some cheating, but not like it, it, not dice cheating. I don't think. I think that would have been, I think that would have been um, found out.
Well, yeah, it's not really a hack, is it, Zev? We'll ask if that is a feature with the custom team. <laughs> Zunga. Or VIP sleeper sir. Yeah, that happened in Blood Bowl 1, Tally. That happened in Blood Bowl 1, for sure, because moving the, the entire... All of the results were generated at the start of the game, and moving would reset it. So that's why they would make random moves, for no reason to reset the dice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no way, Traveris. No way! You absolute madman. They're not even good. And they're not even good. Wood Elves, if anything's cheating, Wood Elves are. This isn't easy to get the assist on the ball hit here, is it? Yeah, cheating by padding record definitely happens. I mean, I, there was somebody on here that I played the other day that, that did it. Um, okay, so what do I do? Blitz this guy. And then there's an assist here. For a 1D with Wrestle. That doesn't seem good. Blitz him and then get an assist in that way, but then it's only a, still only a 1 dice. But blitzing the Minor's got to be. Oh, he's got guard though. Hmm, my basing plan <laughs> hasn't helped me too much, has it? I could 1 dice block the blocker and then blitz with 2 dice. This fucker, what, what, can't he do something good? Put him in there first. One dice block. Let's go. Glorious. Then he blitzes. Into a follow up 2D. Fuck off, man. Oh, God. Cards. Pretty good. Um, we just lost some games in the end. If. Block him on the sideline first. Still got a guy on the ball, so this one's the, the least bad failure state, although it's more likely. I don't even need to hit him. Because I could just hit him and not follow. Right. <laughs> if he wants to piss about trying to serve a beast man, he can. I just wanted to hit with my E blow. I <laughs> know I could have run around there and hit him, but then he'd be in near the ball, which I didn't really want. Mm. Wow. Now it's looking really, really good, isn't it? With two guys out. Three turns without a reroll, boys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pick up next turn and then score. That's possible. It is the chaff drive, so it's looking really good. 
even blitzed to uh, oh no he had the guard I was going to say even blitzed to avoid the uh, frenzy trap but he had he had guard there so. oh man God, he's got half a chance here, hasn't he? Still no rerolls though, so. No, 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 I would never have a minor on Chaos. Well, <laughs> I say that. I did have a minor once, didn't I? But it's rare that I would have a minor. Yeah, the minor touchdown was, <laughs> was the greatest the greatest play I've ever experienced in Blood Bowl. <laughs> I would, I would have a, I would have a, I would have a, yeah, for the reasons I outlined earlier, and as uh, to run all nineteen eighty two, I think it's better to have a, a minor on a, on a chaff team. Oh, no surf. Okay, but we need a scoring threat first and foremost. Boom. Scoring threat. How do I get two dice here? Blitz him and then assist. Yep. It is turn six, but I've got no reroll, so I have to make sure I've got a scoring threat, don't I? Because anything could happen there. I could have double scored that. I haven't got the reroll to um to fucking you know anything can fail now. So I just have to get the scoring threat, even though it's turn six. Yeah. Glorious. I know I've got three more turns, but I just wanted the scoring threat because. Because I've got a reroll. That was literally, honestly, just the reason. Let's get him away from the mine hole. And geofying to here makes the ball a lot safer. Does it? No, because he can't he can't count with this assist. So even if he dodges there and gets the assist, he can't count with the defensive assist. So stay there to maybe blitz or surf next turn. Yeah, I don't even need the hand buff now. No, um He would need a GFI, that warrior, unless I can chain him again. Yeah, entire team on the ground's not bad, is it? And three cars. Pretty successful first half, even even if I don't stop him scoring. Oh, he's got break tackle blitz. <laughs> Usually a good sign. <laughs> oh dear. G five safer. Mm, yes and no. I could move players up to to catch it if I fail a handoff, and there's no chance of dying. So if I can't chain him next turn, I'll go for the handoff. Also, that guy's on 14, so a TD gets him to 17, doesn't it? Yeah, break tackle. Looks pretty good. One, two, three, four plus dodge. Four plus dodge from the break tackle. Finally getting its one chance to be better than like, you know, claw or stand firm or tentacles or <laughs> guard <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> That's why I hate break tackle on big guys, basically, because you could have just taken. 
No, I, I really don't like break tackle on, on any big guy. Tally, honestly, I really don't like it. I think the minus 160. I don't know, but I think it's 160, which is ridiculous. Maybe it's 140. It can't be 160, can it? Uh, yeah, Nurgle are frustrating at all TVs, and uh, they're, they're, they're not godlike at winning, but they are very violent at high TVs. No, true, the Chove Minor doesn't get all the mutations on a normal, but still. But still, I would rather just have Stand Firm than. Uh, I'd rather with Guard, Juggernaut, Juggernaut, he could have gone Juggernaut, um, couldn't he? And then he would that both down he got on the first turn wouldn't have been a turnover. So Juggernaut on him would have been a much better this game already. Doesn't do it. So, what is the play here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Block him for a pow. And he goes in, he goes in, he runs all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay. So, we need a pow. Jim Glorious Pal. And a push. Fuck! <laughs> well, I was kind of relying on a pal then, wasn't I? That was a bit stupid. That was a bit stupid of me. One, two, three, four, five. I don't need to dodge now. I don't need to dodge. I don't need to GFI with him now, at least. There, in case he fails the dodge. Fuck. Fuck that up, didn't I? I Try and save myself a GFI. made myself do a dodge. It was a three dice, though. And rolled a two. <laughs> in an effort to, fit, to save a GFI. I uh, <laughs> I fucked it up. It wasn't dumb. It was just a three plus. It wasn't a two plus three plus. I don't think it was dumb. I was more than fifty percent to uh, to power him, wasn't it? But yeah, maybe I should have just blitzed him and done the handoff rather than try to save the GFI. So yeah, I was seventy percent. I was seventy percent to for it to be a two plus uh, to make it a nothing. I was seventy percent for it to be a nothing, and thirty percent to be a three plus. Or I could have left it as a two plus. Couldn't I? That was it. That was basically what we're looking at. What we're looking at is which is better. Which is better, a two plus?
so yeah, so I was that was so I was better. So basically, no, basically the GFI wasn't better at all because then I'm making three plus, right? So <laughs> it's sixty six percent of thirty. It's sixty six percent. No rotten blood. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I wasn't zero percent to make the dodge. I was sixty six percent to make the dodge. So therefore, sixty six percent of thirty. Right is like over twenty, so therefore I was ninety percent to score going my way. So my way was better. My way was better for sure. But um, <laughs> so my way was better for sure. Anyway, hello Valenik. Um, it's fifty percent. You either make it or you don't. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Um, so. Hmm. Don't know. It's two plus this guy. Two plus? Two dice this guy, and then that's it. Wrestle him. Could go for a surf. There's nobody really around to do it. So two plus three plus to score. Yeah, fuck it. Roll the one. There you go. It was three dice. It was three dice on the hop. Mizo no Masuta. It was three dice. So there you go. There's the one. So we can imagine how to fail the GFI anyway. <laughs> but anyway, still. Three, six, nine. Two men up. Um, and receiving at nil nil is all right, isn't it? Yeah. And he is down a block hob. Although he's he's replaced. So he, the three, the third cars isn't irrelevant. Obviously, the two the two cars are amazing, and this one isn't irrelevant because it makes him have a rookie hob instead of a block hob. Yeah. Yeah. So it was. It was better than making the GFI. So yeah, so my way was better. All right, good. Thanks for that, Moridam. I thought it was right. It felt right to make a three dice with the fact that I had the Dodgers back up. Um, obviously, it would have been much better if I could have three diced and then made the GFI anyway. It would have been absolutely 100% better then, wouldn't it? It felt like it was better without knowing the exact stats. Um, all right, let's make block blocks on the LOS. And then a mighty blow blitz from the guy on 14. Seems like a good idea. He gets a blitz, what's happening? Don't know. Blitz are perfect defense, neither are very good, are they? It was a three dice. I wouldn't have done it if it was just a two dice. It was a three dice. It was a three dice, hundred percent. I would not have done it to it, it, it was a two dice, because it's a one in nine chance of failing it's just too it would have been too risque. three dice. I just couldn't really. Shit that the guy I wanted to blitz with got got fucking ruined. Nice. 
Alright, so go for the pickup first. There's three dice. Really, was it two dice? Oh, well, I was wrong then. Okay, then. <laughs> There's only two dice. Oh, well. Alright, I was stupid then. Zoom out. Alright, yeah, I was I was stupid then. I was stupid then. I wouldn't have done it if I... If I, <laughs> I wouldn't have done it then. So, I wouldn't have done it if if I had uh, if I'd known it was a two dice. If it was if it had been a two dice, I would have just done it with a normal person. And then I would have done the GFI. But never mind, doesn't matter, does it? No, I thought it was... I thought I could make it three there. I honestly thought I could make it three, that's why I moved him around. Um, oh well, it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah, let it go, let it go. Um, Alright, that's brilliant, no blah blitz. Glorious. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter now anyway, it's done, isn't it? Fuck it. Yeah, if it was a 2D, it was a bad play, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was a three. So in my head, it was. <laughs> if I had been correct in my assessment, it would have been a good play, but because I was incorrect, it was a bad play. But, you know, in my head, it was a good play. <laughs> Which is all that matters. <laughs> in my head, Canon, it was a good play. No, <laughs> um... oh, fucking hell. Right, it's over now, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks Johnny Five. Right. I guess the police just goes in this guard guy now. Dory roll it. Maybe. Can I make that three? Might as well just go here, there's no point going in a cage, is there? Right, I guess I, I shouldn't re-roll it, but I'm going to just it's my mighty blow guy. <laughs> classic, classic gym. Wrestle before claw. <laughs> yeah, two jelly a lot. God, that was amazing. And I was like all capsing him. He doesn't have a wizard, and he just he just kept doing it. And I thought he was memeing. And then at the end of the game, he was like, "Oh fuck, he doesn't have a wizard." It's a bit. To be fair, the break, the strength five break tackle does make it a little bit tricky, doesn't it? Uh, Got to be aware. Watch out for that. Strength five break tackle, but um, really should be one nil up, shouldn't it? I should have made the right play. Yeah, idiotic, idiotic play doing that two dice. I honestly thought it was a three dice though. So like, based on my assessment of the board, it was the right play, but my assessment of the board was incorrect, making it a terrible play. <laughs> well, not terrible, but. Very bad. <laughs> a very, very bad play it was in the end. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have ever defended it if I'd known it was two dice. 
Well, I would never have made it if it was two. If I, if I knew it was two dice, I wouldn't have made or defended it if I knew it was a two dice blitz. But anyway, it's done now. No point crying over spilt milk. Spilt milk, just time to get out bashed and draw a game I should have won. Basically, that's the objective now. <laughs> Gotta hope you play shit, eh? God, I wish he had. I wish he had fucking conceded with that double. That what's badly hurt? That double spell. That badly hurt. I wish he had fucking just conceded now. It's actually pretty hard being down the guards, isn't it? I'll claw the guard. He's a bit scared of the 90 blows, isn't he? Right. <laughs> I could sensibly blitz him with block. <laughs> or I could unsensibly blitz him with 90 blow. Fuck, should have been mighty blow. Eight on the armor, fuck's sake. I think I've just got to eat this one. Now you've got to end the game the next reroll. Yeah, maybe 25, yeah. Yeah, I, I often take an early rest, wrestle where lemon is good. Yeah, I often do that, to be fair. It's not, it's not too crazy. Because, you know, having tackle... Tackle shit, isn't it? Basically, <laughs> well, not shit. It's uh, narrow. It's narrow in its application. Whereas wrestle isn't. Huge, huge stun. Oh, this has gone fucking tits up. Fuck's sake.
The first half was so good as well, apart from the last the last turn. <laughs> I manage my expectations by expecting to win every single, every single game. <laughs> <laughs> Almost blood bowl clean. Well done, Jelly Deals. Oh, fucking hell, not re rolling that has led to two stunned guys. That's fucking brutal, isn't it? That is brutal, two stuns. And then three stuns total. Next turn is a fucking horror show of a turn. <laughs> oh, Christ. Christ almighty. One dice blitz on the mine up. Maybe I should have re-rolled that aim. Eh? One dice blitz on the minor. Push him to here. Don't follow. Stay. Stand up. Run these three back a little bit or something. Or over here. Move these three over here. So I can 2D him. Three, four, five, stand him there, then block him, and then check cage here. Right. He's where he stands up first. One dice blitz with block. Get the pal, glorious. Jim, glorious pal. Still, still pretty fucking horrible. But If I can even knock down either of these, it's pretty tough. Maybe I could base him. We can still knock him and my, but then only Mino can reach really. Maybe basing him is okay. And then retreating the screen back. Turn twelve. Turn thirteen. Get back up. And then there's still enough time. Over here. <laughs> oh, Christ.
Oh, I really should have re-rolled that. But it's easy to say that now. It's easy to say I should have re-rolled it now. Because, you know, I mean, he was, he was unlikely to make two fucking armor breaks from the blocks that he got back from it. But, you know, if the, if I'd re-rolled it and I would have got two, two stuns myself, it would have been an easy drive, wouldn't it? But now it's really on the back foot just to save a re-roll. Incredibly back foot. Just to save that re-roll. But then I didn't know he was going to get two stuns, so... Maybe I should have left one of them. I don't know what I should have done. Maybe I shouldn't have gone quite so far back. But the bull's a pain in the ass, isn't he? And even one dice on the ball, he can roll some dice. Should have set up like Dort, that would have never happened. <laughs> He's just one day away from me time. Oh dear. At least he hasn't pushed forward so much after all this, has he? Only got a one man advantage. Yeah, this is the fucking thing, this bull. How do I even protect against the bull? Come on, one look, no, well then, fuck. Oh, man. One dice block from the hob. Yeah, screw the orcs are dead. Um, the worst thing is it was all fucked up for YouTube as well with fucking the recordings and stuff, but they ended 713 the orcs. Which wasn't very good, was it? Oh, well, it made it easier for us. That was nice of him. Very nice. Okay. Okay, so he blocks him, he blitzes him, and then there's some kind of three-man cage-ish. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do a dodge. How about here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's just the same. Or 
about here? Then you could one dice him. Dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it'd be two dodges then. If I go here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's one dodge. He has two dodges, but he could, he could block him out, but it's still the dodge. So I think this is the better, better spot. Right. Now somehow next turn, get some two dice blocks and get some kind of control over the fucking game. Hello, just Joe. Don't worry, I'll forgive you. Um, yeah, it was an interesting reroll that he made, wasn't it? I, I guess I should have rerolled that both down. That I didn't really put us in a lot of trouble on the drive. But then I didn't know I was going to get two guys done. Yeah, thanks, Guru. Yeah, it is a good start, isn't it? 4 1 0. After last season, where I just couldn't get any starts whatsoever. Oh shit, he's gonna surf the mighty blow! Oh fuck! He's gonna surf the mighty blow guy! Oh shit! I guess though, if he does that, maybe I can make a bit of a break. I don't care which turn I score now, I just wanna try and fucking score. He's not, he's not surfing. No, he is getting a minor on the ball, though. He is getting a minor on the ball. Got a potato player here, don't I? Could block him and get it to the mighty blow guy. You could sideline it. Still have to do a GFI though. If blitz this minor, what even happens? Like, where do I even go? It's fucking hard, isn't it? I really fucked myself not re-rolling. He can block him for him, he could blitz him, he could dodge away and go centre. That's maybe the best option. Irrelevant block first. Good. Two D him, blitz him, and then dodge. Yeah, all right.
He could 2D him, then he could 2D him. 4, 5, well, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Do I hear? Guy out in front. Two GFIs to score. What else can I fucking do? Or a hand off to him next turn. I needed a power then though, didn't I? Jelly deals, that was the thing. I needed a power on the 1D on the Mino then. Which, to be fair, is 50 50. But my way was kind of safer because it worked with pushers, didn't it? But yeah, I guess there was more payoff to running through. But then he could roll some 3 pluses and get the ball. Yeah, it was good, some good dice that turn. I've got to do the handoff to the mighty blow next turn, I think, haven't I? In potato. I think that is definitely the play. Just need a scoring threat before I hand off to him. Yeah, the pass had been very risky, wouldn't it? It'd been really risky. That's like you're looking at a three plus pass, maybe a four plus pass. Chance of intercept. And I've had to block differently needing powers. It was it was way too risky, I think. Yeah, he scores without any GFIs now. Can't believe he's going for this. Four two pluses with a loner. For this to work. Made two of them. Made three of them. Made all of them. Wow. Wow, get fucked. <laughs> Stupid Mino has been amazing for him. <laughs> Obviously. Why would it not be? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hand off, run forward. One, two, three. Need, need, probably maybe need a GFI anyway. Blitz him, face him. Or block him, blitz him, base him or something. He has been blocking and blitzing and GFIing all game, yeah. That he has. Right. He could block, then he could blitz, then he could base. No, he can't. 
He's the only one who can actually base him. But I have to be on a blitz. He could block, then he could go one, two, three, four, five. Mm. He could blitz, then he could get in scoring range. But then there's no one to tag him. One, two, three, four. He's pretty safe if he gets here, he's pretty safe. But the uphill block is just too likely, isn't it? I guess I could dodge him out to base him at the end, double base at the end. Dodge through. I don't think I can get a scoring threat before. I maybe think I've got a blitz. I've just got a blitz and then, right. Cool. And then base. So now it's a scoring threat and it makes it much harder for me to hit the ball. Um. He can only base with him. He can only base. He can only base. He can only base. So, I've just got to roll the 2 plus 3 plus, really. Glorious. Alright, that's just about good enough, isn't it? Base, 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 base can hit but he's got to do a 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus and then it's uphill he could block then he could dodge through and uh, not even dodge through just walk through and he does have to dodge through With two rerolls, why not go for a two plus? Because uh, I'm bad at Blood Bowl, maybe? Yeah, I guess I should have done that. I guess I should have done that, shouldn't I? <laughs> it's like you've seen never people, <laughs> never seen Jimmy do a GFI. Yeah, I mean that's the that's a that's a thing, isn't it? This is two GFIs to base, but I'm just blitzing him away next turn anyway. Or dodge next turn. But yeah, maybe I should have done a GFI. But you know, that's what lost me the game against Spartaco, wasn't it? Doing that GFI. It's too late now anyway, I've moved on. He can't base. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can only base. Yeah, maybe I should have done the GFI. But it's literally what lost me the game against uh, Spartaco, wasn't it? There's the GFI fail. The reroll. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess maybe I should have done the GFI. One in thirty six as opposed to him. As opposed to whatever happens after he bases me. Yeah. Yeah, good argument for making the extra GFI, I guess. I'm just really, really risk averse, but I guess I should have done it. This won't fail. I'm on the right. It's really not easy for him, though. To, like, you know, two dice with a reroll is a 1 in 81 to clear, isn't it? But I guess if he somehow double bases the ball, then it's a. Bit worse. The Orcs are dead TLC. They got the 713, which wasn't wasn't good enough really. Um, so I thought I'd try again, and obviously Chaos are off to a. Even if this is a draw, which I'd feel unlucky if it is, but even if it is, 4 2 0 is a good start, isn't it, with Chaos? Good morning, buddy Greek. Yeah, who knows whether it was good enough or not. I mean, if he bases with a minor, then it's hard to get a two dice, isn't it? So I guess I probably should have GFI.
Glorious. 50-50 to base me though. He's 50-50 to base me. And then if he does, I don't have, I've just got a dodge, which is a 1 in 9, isn't it? So yeah, I guess 1 in 36 is better than 1 in 9. 1 in 18. 4, 4, yeah, 3, 2 pluses. Ooh. Lucky. Thank you very much for staying fantastic, Duo Dora. Yeah, I'm not sure whether that was the right play to GFI. Man. Probably was, wasn't it? It probably was the right play to GFI. Um, I'm not going to make any blocks now. Even even three dice with block, I wouldn't make. <laughs> Glorious level as well. So pretty huge. Pretty huge. Uh, it was pretty good to do that handoff, wasn't it? It was. It was in my mind as I was going for the handoff. It's pretty good that this skills the mighty blow guy. Um, zero, zero, four. What's he on? He's on four. He's on four. All right. That was close in the end, wasn't it? But I mean, it really should have been, I should have been one nil up already, really. And yeah, let finish the half of the reroll. So I guess I should have just rerolled that block that got us into a lot of trouble. <laughs> Thanks, Lil Vaz. That was very tense, wasn't it? Yeah, you had to blitz, yeah. He did the right play to blitz, didn't he? Make it 3 2 pluses. But still, it was 50 50 to, to make 3 2 pluses. That is chlorine. Glorious. Glorious. <laughs> The first Migley clause of the team. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Thanks, Mogo. Thanks for staying fantastic. Oh, yeah. Uh, for China's dead? Frankfurt, oh, that's why. For China has died. Um, the link to the L's. I'll show you the L's after this game. Can't say fairer than that, can I? I actually had the I had them in a fucking tab ready ready to show. And now they're not in a tab anymore. No longer for China, he's a dad in the sun. You're new. What team? Nurgle. Is it always Nurgle, Frankfurt? Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it, playing new players? <laughs> or bad players. I mean, you know, it's un unlikely for a new player to not be bad. Isn't it? That's why. That's the thing. But I mean, they're still bad. That's it. And, he, you know, they could just be caring about the fluff or whatever or, you know, role playing, but it's still bad in terms of winning, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh. Okay, God, thank God for that. What a, what a horribly close game that was, considering the first half was so ridiculous, getting the three cars and everything. Maybe I should have re-rolled that. Right, re-roll this for no reason. And uh, another skill, penguin. The overpowered penguins, 60 to 40 blocks. So, you know, getting three cast to one is to be expected, really, isn't it? With that, with that ratio of blocks, 
especially as I had mighty blow for a lot of them. All right. But in the end, a great result getting claw on him, unless it's strength, I guess. No. It's claw. So now don't auto lose against orcs. It's still not going to be easy against orcs with this team, but or dwarves, but at least it's not an auto lose. And uh do not maybe even guard on this guy. I don't hate guard there. Um Maybe block. It's gotta be block or guard, hasn't it? I don't really want to go under the mighty blow. I've already got one mighty blow guy. Think about it for a little bit, and I guess upgrade the stadium now. Uh, seems I've got to get rid of 40 anyway. And yeah, not looking bad. Right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.